Hey, Shalom, man, it's your brother Eli coming at you with a quick motivation and exhortation video, man, on how we ought to be more watchful and pray more in these last days, right? It's a lot of things going on, a lot of judgments from the Most High God coming out in this world. So, hey, we need to be examining ourselves, watching the things that's going on around us, watching ourselves and praying daily, right? Let me get to the point. Let's get the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse 2. And it reads, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy way, thy works perfect before the most high. So what is Yahweh Shah telling us, man? He's telling us to be watchful. You need to start watching and observing how you moving and strengthen the things that you constantly stumble over and, you know, fall weekend. You, you sin, the things that cause you to sin a lot, right? You got to strengthen these things. How do we strengthen these things? By what? Examining yourself. We just can't be walking around this thing thinking we got it all figured out, right? Like, oh, you know, I'm, 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 I know I got the kingdom. I know I'm the elect. You know what I'm saying? God got me regardless because I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But no, you have to strengthen those things which remain. You know what I'm saying? That are ready to die, right? What does it mean when they say they are ready to die? Is it saying you got to wake up chopping your arms off, you know, killing yourself and you wake up again? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get to do it right today. Then you mess up again and you go kill yourself. No, he's telling you, you got to kill off the old man, right? Let's get this precept. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 51 and 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Hamashiach Yahushai, our Lord. I die daily. So what Paul say he died daily, meaning what? He kill off his old man day by day. And how do you do that? You have to be examining yourself. Let's get this classic scripture, man. Watch this. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13 and verse 5. It says, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh is in you, except you be reprobates. So he said, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Bro, you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, man, do I really believe? You know what I'm saying? Am I really loving my brother how I'm supposed to? Am I really out here doing this work like I'm supposed to? Or am I just doing it a modern Hebrew Christian way? You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing it on Saturday. I'm just doing it on feast days. You know what I'm saying? I don't buy a sale on Saturday and I don't smoke or eat pork on Saturday, but Sunday morning, I'm right back at it. You know what I'm saying? You got to examine yourself, whether you really be in this faith or not, unless what? You a reprobate. You feel like you don't need correction. You don't got to examine yourself. You already know, hey, you got the kingdom regardless. So, hey, you don't need this. So, what? The most high tell us, bro, we have to be strengthful and be watchful of the things that we are doing and partaking in, and we got to die daily. How do we stay in the spirit? What should we be doing? He told us. He said what? Let's get this in the book of Mark. Let's get the book of Mark real quick. We're just going to go through a couple of precepts real quick. And that, you know, I pray it build brothers and sisters up to have us watching and praying more, examining ourselves more. Right? This is the book of Mark, chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse 32. It says, but of that day and that hour, know of no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the son. But the Father, take ye heed and watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. You know what I'm saying? He said, well, bro, we don't know when your Mashiach coming back. We don't know when your Yahweh shall return it. So what should we be doing? We need to make sure that we are part of the elect. We need to make sure that we handling our part. We watching the time. We, ex we examining ourselves. We showing brotherly love, sisterly love. We not out here living like wicked niggas with fringes on, right? Because why? We don't want him to tell us this right here, bro. Give me a second. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 5. I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. So that zeal you had when you first came in the truth, you slamming all the pork out the house. You know what I'm saying? You, a woman, sister's throwing all the pants out or cutting holes in them, making them his dresses, throwing fringes on. Hey, brothers is growing beards out. Hey, brothers is not breaking the Sabbath. Brothers not whoring their sisters out. Brothers on fire. Brothers reading and teaching every single day. And then what? Next thing you know, it get boring to you or one hard thing stumble up or your girl kind of fall back in the world. And next thing you know, she telling you, hey, if you're going to keep doing that Bible thing, I'm going to go on by my way. So now you kind of 
reading the Bible in your car in a long time, but in the house, you know, you got to accept her smoking weed. She praying to Buddha, whatever the hell the situation is. And you kind of forget your first love, man. And it says, remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of his place, except I repent. And that's your how was I talking, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, bro, we got to do these first works. Or he going to come upon us. And what he going to do? Blow out your candlestick, bro. He going to blow you out this truth. Your light going to be gone. You're going to be living in the land of darkness. And you're going to be a bug out waiting on judgment day, right? You know what I'm saying? So these are the things that we must be doing so that we can get back to our first love. What should we be doing? Watch this. Let's get the book. Of Matthew, I'm gonna read another one, chapter 24 and verse 42. All right, watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 42. It says, Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made rule over his household to give them meat in due season? You know what I'm saying? So, bro, watch all oh, this. Another blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, find, shall find so doing. So what? He said, blessed is that servant when your, when, your, when your Lord come. What are you doing? You fasting. You praying. You observing the time, you doing the work, you being a brother to your brother, you being a brother to your sister, or you being a sister to your brothers, vice versa. You're not out here backbiting, you're not out here murmuring, you're not out here thinking evil of your brother or your sister. But what? You trying to keep these laws to the best of your ability. So what should we be doing to stay in the spirit in the last days, man? Let's get the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, and we're going to go to verse 17, man. So this is the book of uh, First Thessalonians, chapter 5. In verse 17 and it says I'm gonna start at verse 16 rejoice evermore pray without ceasing and everything give thanks for this is the will of the Most High and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai concerning you quench not the spirit so bro what should we be doing we should be praying without ceasing anytime you get an opportunity you should always pray to the most high you know what i'm saying through his son you how about you do you through his son you have a shot right you should always be giving thanks in all things you know if you go late on your phone bill you got to pay an extra twenty dollars i'll pray to the most high you're on your way to camp you get a flat tire i'll pray to the most high because it might be something that he's putting in the way to test you or see you know what I'm saying? How you handle it. And at the end, though, it might be a great reward, right? And it say what? Quench not your spirit, man. Don't let your spirit, you know what I'm saying? Don't let your spirit get taken from you for being slothful or trimming your ways for love. You know what I'm saying? Do not let your spirit, the spirit that the Lord put upon you, be taken from you, right? Let's get the book of Psalms real quick, chapter 51. Let's get this get the book of psalm chapter 51 you know what i'm saying i'm still going into watching and praying but i'm just letting the spirit move me through precepts on certain things to jump out on right so watch this let's get to the book of psalms chapter 51 and you know what i'm saying it started verse 10 it says creating me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from thy holy parent holy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me so we should be praying to the most high that he don't take his holy spirit from us right just like our forefather david did let's see how david prayed did david just pray you know what i'm saying once a week two times a week or once in the morning and after that he doing his thing let's see how david got down right watch this this is the book of psalms chapter 55 verse 16 as for me i will call upon Yahweh, and the lord shall save me evening and morning and at noon will i pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice so david prayed three times a day man he said in the evening in the morning and at noon he gonna send up his prayers to the most high right he's gonna always send up his prayers to the most high because david know what the more you call upon the lord the more he come build with you come he comes sup with you how you expect god to how, how do you expect to say you have a relationship with the most high you don't talk to the most high how can you pray for the most high to forgive you for sins when you don't even pray for him you don't pray to him and ask him to forgive you for your sins right so we have to always have it in our first instant even when you wake up in the morning instead of picking your phone up hey man go to the face to east 
bow down on your knees or face the east, put your hands up, bro, and send up prayers to the Lord, right? Watch this. Let's get another one. Let's get the book of Psalms chapter 5 and verse 2. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my king, and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. So why? You should be praying to God that he remove these evil things from you, that he can give you the spirit to examine yourself with the scriptures. Let you read about the accounts and acts of our forefathers that what? We might learn to watch out for these things and pray our ways. You know what I'm saying? It might be certain demons on some of us that, you know, it might take a little bit more work. You know what I'm saying? And you examining yourself and you realize, hey, I'm not getting it off as easy as I should. What do I do next? How be it? Now watch this. This is what you should do if, you know, you battling certain things or it might be a person who offended you and you find it hard to forgive this person, right? Look at what you have, which I say you should do. You still should be watching and praying, but you, now you just got to add a certain thing to it, right? This is the book of Matthew chapter 17 and verse 21. How be it? This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. So if you know it's certain demons that you're not being able to get off of you, right? It's, it's taking you a hard time to get these certain demons off of you. Yeah, how was I said? Certain things go out not but by fasting and praying. And our forefathers fasted many days and many nights. You know what I'm saying? 40 days in the wilderness here, 40 days in the wilderness there. You know what I'm saying? So fasting has to be a part of your customs as well, right? Let's go to another person. Let's go to the book of Daniel, right? Let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 6, and we're going to start at verse 10. Let's see how Daniel moved. Did Daniel pray just once a day? You know what I'm saying? He prayed just on the new moon and on the Sabbath. And after that, Daniel did his own thing. Watch this. Let's read about what Daniel did. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 6 and verse 10. And it reads, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did a four time. You know what I'm saying? Daniel was making supplications. Even when men was conspiring against Daniel, Daniel still made sure that, hey, man, I don't give a damn what's going on. Ain't nobody going to stop me from praying to my God. You know what I'm saying? How about Shimei Ain't nobody going to stop me from praying to the Most High. How much so should we be? You know what I'm saying? We should always be giving praise to the Most High. And it don't even just have to be three times a day, right? We can pray as many times as you want to. If the Spirit leads you, hey, man, dive in and pray up to the Father. Watch this. Let's get the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 164. It reads, seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. So when you praying and fasting and watching and you stand in the book, the Most High said nothing shall offend you. It won't be too many things that offend you where you won't end up going off on people. You'll know how to rule your spirit more. So what should we be doing? You know what I'm saying? We should be praying, fasting and watching and observing the times, right? We don't want to be this brother right here who feel like, well, I don't have to pray like that, King. I know what I'm doing. I'm moving in the spirit. You don't never, you know what I'm saying, give the words of the Lord when you're trying to build yourself up or when you're building somebody else up or when somebody counseling with you. You always feel like you got the magic word word to solve it and you know how the God feels with you and you know God tells you personally what's right and what's wrong for you to do you don't want to be this brother this is the book of Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12 there is a way which seeming right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death so you don't want to be the brother which everything you think you say or do is right in your eyes but then when the Lord looking at you he like hey bro when he when his cup be full with all the wickedness that he doing, I'ma kill him. I'ma put him straight to death. So what should we be doing, bro? We gotta be examining ourselves. We gotta be praying, meditating on what we want to pray about, right? And watch this. And sometimes, you know, when you pray, you might just say the Lord's prayer. But you know, it's other things on your mind that you want to pray about. But you haven't accumulated the words to put them together on what you want to say or what you want to do, right? And let's get this real quick. Let's get to the book of Romans chapter 8. And let's start at verse, I think I want 26. Right, watch this. 
This is the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we off. So a lot of times you might not know what you need to pray for, right? You're just going through a lot. And, you know, at the time your head all over the place. So you just want to quick throw up a quick prayer. So you might throw up the Lord's prayer. Well, look what he said with the Spirit to do. He says, for we know not what we should pray for as we off. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So the Holy Spirit sometimes will speak on your behalf. And, you know, and let the Most High know what you're requiring and what you're asking for, right? And watch this. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? And so this is how we ought to move. Bro, you still have to pray more and give supplication to God, right? Watch this. I'm going to end it with this one right here. Let's go to the book of First Kings chapter 8. And look what King Solomon years thousands and thousands of years ago put a, a put in a good word for us that what if we do a certain thing we will fall off and we repent and you know when we do what watch this this is the book of first kings verse chapter eight and watch this i'm gonna start at let me see how i want to go with all right verse 46 it says, if they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto a land of the enemy, far or near. Watch this. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplication, prayer unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplications in heaven, thy dwelling place and maintain their cause. So, you know, we got to pray more, you know what I'm saying? We have to watch, and we have to examine ourselves, and we got to fast more, you know what I'm saying? That the Most High will deliver us, he'll hear our prayers, and deliver us from this land, right? So I'm, I ain't going to give you too many more scriptures, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it simple, but I just wanted to give you all a quick exhortation on how we must examine ourselves, we must watch, we must pray, and we must do much fasting in these last days to make sure we make our calling and our election sure. Brother Eli the servant, shallow one.